Hi everybody, I'm Jesse O'Connor from Zenith Detailing out in Budapest, Hungary and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a two-stage polish with one step, with one polish and a wool pad on a hard paint. This is Audi paint, VAG paints are always hard, uh, well at least they are in Europe. Uh, now basically I'm going to explain a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be using Swiss Air HC 4000 polish. Uh, in my opinion, this polish is, is magical. Uh, it cuts very well and it also breaks down extremely well. Uh, being that it does that, so uh, you can literally cut out all of the deeper scratches. It doesn't look horrible, horrible, this paint, but there are some deeper scratches in it that I want to remove. Now, normally uh, with a traditional polish and uh, wool pad, I would remove the scratches first with a rotary machine and a wool pad get everything nice and uh, uh, flat and then after that I would go back on a hard paint with a medium pol polish and a medium pad to remove everything else maybe even a, a finishing polish could, could also work depends on how well you finish it down but uh, by doing this uh, with this pad it's called a doodle pad from Swizzer uh, basically it has really really short uh, fibers on it and what that does uh, is it allows all of the polish to break down evenly uh, unlike a uh, normal wool pad, you know, that has the long hairs on it, eventually gets that rasta hair on it. Uh, the uh, polishing, sorry, the aluminum oxide in the polish tends to get caught up into those hairs and a lot of it doesn't actually break down the way that it's supposed to. Therefore, you get lots of swirling and things like that. That's where a lot of your swirling comes from. Uh, and also, too, you're using a rotary machine. Uh, now, literally, I, I can do a, a one-stage polish with a rotary machine and a, and a traditional wool pad, hologram-free. But I've been doing this for 34 years. Uh, I've got a lot of practice. I can, I, I can, I know how to manipulate the pad and the polish and things like that. Uh, that's not something that you want to do as as a normal practice. I don't even do it as a normal practice. I just did it just to see if I could do it, and I could. Uh, but with this, basically what you're doing uh, is you're going to save yourself a little time uh, by using it uh, with a DA uh, polishing machine, uh, a, a doodle pad, or whatever you prefer. Just make sure it's a, a DA pad with uh, short-haired fibers on it, or short fibers on it, because uh, again, that allows the polish to break down evenly and, and thoroughly. Uh, again, with the uh, normal traditional wool pad, a lot of it gets caught inside and, and it just continues to scratch and scratch and scratch because basically the, the pressure and the heat uh, caused by the rotor machine sometimes doesn't reach it and therefore it stays in its natural uh, condition. So basically let's uh, show you what it is, show you what I'll do here. I just use two drops of polish. My pad's already, already nice and primed. That's it. <laughs> so again, like I said, uh, this polish, not every polish can do this. Uh, I, I've tried this with several different polishes with uh, very little success. Uh, some got close to doing what this polish can do. So basically this, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Detlef, uh, the 
main man at Swizzer, maybe he's a magician. What is this sorcery you say? It's black magic. Uh, it's not black, black magic. They, they, they just figured it out perfectly, this polish. It's got the exact amount, uh, perfect amount of, of, of abrasives inside, the perfect amount of waxes, perfect amount of greases, oils, things like that. And it just finishes perfectly. And let me give you a close up. Okay, there is actually a, a deeper scratch in there. That one's pretty deep. But in this case, I'm gonna let that go because you don't wanna remove too much paint. But as for all of the larger scratches, medium-sized scratches, all the surface scratches, I've removed everything. And it's left me with a perfect hologram free finish. I don't need to do any refining to that. I could if I wanted to. Uh, if I really want to jewel the paint or something like that. But I'm not going to. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Click a like if you like the video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Ciao.